So my freshman year of college, I was a backup quarterback in college. And uh, I did not handle it well at all. I have tremendous regret for the way I acted in that situation. I was backed into a corner. And, uh, you know, I just did not handle an, a, a situation that was not ideal to me. I didn't handle it very well. I'm not proud of how I responded at all. I gave up on football. I left. And I learned what a backup quarterback should look like by watching the New York Jets backup quarterback this year, Josh McCown. Josh McCown's the backup quarterback. He's there to help Sam Darnold, their starting quarterback, develop. And he got the gears turning in my head while I was watching Josh McCown. He was a starter last year. He lost his job as a starting quarterback to a rookie, Sam Darnold. But he was completely gracious. And he's been helping Sam Darnold develop, showing tremendous maturity and acting kind of like a quarterback coach for Sam Darnold. And that leads me to what I think is the best story of the year. It started when I saw Josh McCown as a great backup. But here is what I'm about to tell you, and this is why I think this story is so great. And I think it goes beyond just sports. This story is about Jalen Hurts. Last year, Jalen Hurts was Alabama's starting quarterback. He led them all the way to the national championship. He was fantastic. Had a solid year. He's 24-2 and two as a starter. And in the national championship, Alabama's playing Georgia. Jalen Hurts was playing poorly. He got benched. He got his job taken away from him. And so Tua Tungavaloa came in, bad quarterback, and dominated. Tua led Alabama to a come-from-behind victory, and uh, it, it was uh, exciting for Tua. The coolest part about it, though, was the way that Jalen Hurts handled that. Jalen Hurts stood on the sideline and cheered on his teammates. Wasn't mad, wasn't bitter. His moment got taken away from him. He was embarrassed. He got benched. I would have been embarrassed. And yet he handled it with grace and maturity. He had class. He was rooting for his teammate, the backup quarterback who he got benched for. I thought that was incredible. So Bama wins a national championship. They beat Georgia. And everyone kind of assumes, at least I did, that you know Jalen Hurts is now going to transfer. That was last year. They win the national championship. He loses his job. Okay, well, now it's time for Jalen Hurts to leave. Jalen Hurts, is uh, he's going to go somewhere. He can be the starting quarterback. That makes sense. I mean, his competition, by the way, Tua, is incredible. Tua is now a Heisman finalist. Now, let me tell you about a parallel we saw. We saw, Tua, we saw Jalen Hurts lose his job to Tua, and we kind of all assumed yeah, he's going to transfer. Here's why, though. Georgia had a similar situation where their starting quarterback, Jacob Eason, got hurt, lost his job. Backup quarterback, Jake Frum, comes in, does fantastic. He, he kept the job. And Jacob Eason said, you know, I'm going to transfer. After the national championship ended last year, Jacob Eason transferred to the University of Washington so he could have a chance to become the starter. Earlier this year, Kelly Bryant, the Clemson quarterback, lost his job, transferred to Missouri because he wanted a chance to play. It's what everybody does. Everybody transfers when they don't have their shot. It was safe to assume, yeah, Jalen Hurts is going to do the same thing. That's what everybody does. I even played up the narrative. I was stupid enough. I played up this narrative. I said it looks like Nick Saban is manipulating Jalen Hurts. The Alabama quarterback competition was drawn out, and I said, look, of course, Nick Saban's drawing this out because it benefits him to manipulate Jalen Hurts into staying because having two capable quarterbacks would really help Alabama. I said, Nick Saban is giving Jalen Hurts false hope. And I was wrong. I was stupid. I was wrong. None of that was true. Fake news. Just completely wrong. Jalen Hurts chose to stay at Alabama. He made a conscious decision. In spite of the fact he might not be the starting quarterback, he chose to stay and fight. Win with grace. Lose with grace. Well, Jalen Hurts lost. He lost Alabama's starting quarterback competition. And again, Tua became the starting quarterback. Dominated, became a Heisman finalist. Jalen Hurts took a back seat, wasn't on anybody's radar. And then in the SEC championship game against Georgia, Tua got hurt. Enter Jalen Hurts the guy who was benched a year ago, against the very same team, the weirdest part about this. I love this story because, and I'll get to it in a minute, if you wrote the script and turned it into a Hollywood producer, they'd laugh at you. 
This isn't possible. This doesn't happen. No one would believe this. So against the very same team that he got benched against last year, Jalen Hurts this time comes off the bench, scored two touchdowns, and brought his team from behind to beat Georgia. He led Alabama to victory over Georgia in the SEC championship game. Same team as last year. It's weird. I don't understand. Kind of hilarious, but fantastic. I love it. Unbelievable. It's the best story of the year so far. But here's why. It's the grace, the class, the maturity that Jalen Hurts had in this situation. He's in a rough situation. No longer the starting quarterback. I lost my job. But, but I'm going to have a positive attitude through all of it. That's what Jalen Hurts did that I think is so fantastic. All year we saw Jalen Hurts celebrate with Tua. Tua Tungavaloa, Heisman finalist. Jalen Hurts did nothing but celebrate him, encourage him, motivate him, and support his teammate. Again, I was a backup quarterback my freshman year of college. I had no idea what I was doing. I did not handle it very well. I didn't know how to encourage. I didn't know how to celebrate somebody else's success. Watching Jalen Hurts is so cool to see. Jalen Hurts and Josh McCown, those two combined. Watching them, I learned what a backup quarterback is supposed to do. You encourage and you help the starting quarterback because that's what helps your team. Jalen Hurts is an example to everybody, not just you, not just me, not just people who are backup quarterbacks. He's an example of how to deal with a situation that's not ideal. Having a good attitude, encouraging people, being positive, not getting angry when things don't go your way. It's so cool to me. And here's what I'm not saying. I don't want to get my message confused. I'm not saying let yourself be walked over. I'm not saying give up and just do what Jalen Hurts did. If you want to play, go play. Transferring. There's nothing wrong with transferring. Nothing wrong with Kelly Bryant or Jacob Eason, but I respect what Jalen Hurts did so much. Most backups like Jalen Hurts will never get their chance. Jalen Hurts got lucky that he got an opportunity to play late in the year. Most guys, you get benched, you're just the backup forever. You never get another shot. There's not a formula. You don't just get to be the good guy and eventually you win. It's not how it works. But in this case, it did work that way. Jalen Hurts was the good guy. Nothing but positive, encouraging, and supportive, and it worked. It's so cool. What we can say about Jalen Hurts, there's no formula for your personal success, but if you want to be part of a team, Jalen Hurts is a shining example of how to do that. And that's what I love. Fight hard, and if you lose, you lose with grace. Jalen Hurts' attitude in a tough situation just uh, encourages me, inspires me. I think a lot of people are going to use his story as an example and other things, you know, pastors, business leaders, motivational speakers, football coaches, baseball coaches, basketball, everybody. Jalen Hurts is an example from, for people in all walks of life, how to be positive in a tough situation. I think it's so cool. And that, that's why I love this story. I think it's, it's my favorite story I've seen all year in, in any sport, basketball, football, baseball, regardless, watching what Jalen Hurts has done and the attitude he had in a tough situation. Handling adversity with grace and class, um, it's fantastic. I, I genuinely think it's awesome. It's cool he was ready for his moment when he got one, uh, but he might not have ever gotten a moment. And regardless, it's, it's cool to celebrate Jalen Hurts, the attitude he's had, the way he celebrated with his teammates and supported his teammates is so cool. That is how you play the role of a backup quarterback. Everybody looked at Jalen Hurts forever. If you're ever benched, you ever lose your job, you ever lose your spot, Look to Jalen Hurts and try to do what he did. Because, man, that's maturity right there. That's so cool to me. That's my favorite story in sports all year. My name is Zach Schaumler. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports. And I just want to say thank you so very much for tuning in. It means the world to me. If you don't already, you can subscribe to Strong Opinion Sports on iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube. And please help me grow by telling your friends about the show. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Whatever it is. I just want to say again, thank you so much. It means a lot. Hope you guys have a great day and uh, take care.